What's up guys? Here changing the brakes on my 2013 Chevy Express. Uh, changing them because they were getting extremely squeaky. Um, but it looks like there's still a lot of pad left. The rotors are still in great condition so I'm not messing with those. This is just getting the calipers off and replacing the pads um, and checking everything out. So we're here. Took off my wheel already. And these two bolts that hold on the caliper need to come off. They are 18s on mine. So I'm, I broke them loose already just to make this video kind of quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. I'm gonna flip this caliper up. I have to compress both pistons. So I've already loosened up the, uh, well, loosened the, the cap on the um, master, or not master cylinder, but the reservoir, the brake fluid reservoir. So, um, yeah, let me get this off really quick. All right, so here's my caliper. Piston's pretty extended. I'm gonna have to compress those. Here are the pads. Uh, they just slide right out. So aside from having cracks, that's no good. Um, let's see, is that one bad? Yeah, they're both pretty cracked and worn, so these might just be really old and beat up, but no sensor issues. Um, and the one with, all right, so they'll both be up there. Okay. All right, now that they're removed, I'm gonna go ahead and just check everything else out. This all looks good. I mean, this looks good, I'm gonna replace the hardware here, these little metal rails on top and bottom, and grease up the channels so that way the pads move the way they're supposed to once they're installed. So let me get to that. Rotor still looks really good, no grooving, no, really almost no wear. Um, so those are good now. So you get to pay, replacing these pads now. part goes towards the inside. clips in. Now compressing the caliper pistons. All right, my tool is made for single piston calipers but I'm using a brake pad to spread it across and it seems to be doing the trick. All right once the pistons are compressed it's time to install the new pads. So I'm going to go ahead and just grease up the channels where the edges of the pads are going to be resting and will be needing to slide back and forth a bit.
So once we're here, we're gonna take the original pins, gotta grease them up really good, and then insert them back in, making sure that everything's aligned. So I got my little helper inside, stepping on the brakes. Go ahead and step on it. Do it again, buddy. There you go. It works great, thanks bud. So we got everything in here back together, the way it should be. Uh, now we're just gonna go ahead and put the wheel back on, move over to the other side. There we go, both sides done, put back together. Pretty quick job, less than an hour. Had a little bit of help from my little dude. Um, yeah, I used uh, just Duralast Gold, like so the slightly more expensive ones. Um, and we'll see how they go. Uh, thanks for watching. So they do a quick break job on a 3500 Chevy Express 2013 year. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.